Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Napoleon Total back again with some Shogun 2 um, after a conquest. And uh, we're gonna be playing a 2v1. Yeah, we're gonna be playing a 2v1. We're up against one, the Constantian, whose army is right here. There's a little bit lag today because, um, yeah. And we're also playing against this uh, Tacticson. I'm, also, I'm obviously going to be deploying my own army, and um, yeah, um, this is my army, and um, but the, uh, for siege battles, once again, my idea is always to de delay for time, as you can see uh, in the, right here, uh, we're going to delay our best for time, that's why I brought a lot of units, the only good unit is probably this one with the Infanterie de Marine, or Emperor Zone, which I call them that, um, in the top few tiers, I just have a lot more of these terrible infantry called White Tiger Force, and um, at this point, I was just hoping that they would successfully, we would successfully hold this place. Um, but um, what am I bringing? Um, actually, no, I just got. Um, I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, six units of White Bear infantry in this group. Uh, more White Bear infantry all along this flank. I have. I forgot. I basically maxed out, so there's a maximum. So I brought 18 White Bear Infantry, uh, White Tiger Force, my bad, and one uh, Infanterie de Marine, and uh, my general. The enemy, okay, yeah, I have to pause this now. Um, the enemy is bringing a lot of Bow Warrior Monks, uh, Bow Ashigaru, with some 150 range and 175 range for Bow Warrior Monks, so that's pretty dang scary. He has one European Cannons. Um, they're not good as compared to Armstrong guns, but they're more than enough to destroy walls. He has a lot of warrior monk heroes, some Yari heroes, um, warrior monks, warrior monks, Naganana Samurai, Naganana Samurai, Naganana Samurai, Naganana Samurai, Katana Samurai, his general's bodyguard, which is looking pretty neat right here. Yeah. Um, the player right next to him, Pak Pakistan is bringing not gonna worry monk count. That's weird. Uh, bulletproof samurai. Not gonna samurai. Not gonna samurai. Uh, some even more cavalry. That's that's really weird. Um, this is, one cavalry is more than enough in the siege battle. But uh, he's bringing some bow samurai. Bow samurai. Bow samurai. Uh, bow samurai. Bow samurai. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Daikyu samurai, which is under 75 range. Yeah. And um, as of right now, they're just annihilating my guys. Uh, my guys are just sitting here getting literally shot. We are opening fire, which is a good thing. And he's pulling back, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, as you can see, because he has the enemy had, didn't bring a lot of artillery, I'm just like lobbing up my guys. And this, I don't know, essentially battalion mass formation. Um, I'm moving back my infantry to marines. These guys look pretty nice. Um, yeah. Um, and we're, I'm just waiting for the time to go past. Already, we've, uh, the enemy just lost three minutes and they haven't scaled a single wall. They're just using their bows to pick my guys apart, which is not a bad idea. Uh, I just have to make sure that they literally, um, do their job, which is, um, do not do their job, which is bomb rush me. But yes, uh, our arrow towers are also helping w w where we can and what we can. Um, some of my units are obviously rallying. But they will come back because uh, eventually they're gonna go towards my general, and yeah. Also, it's also pretty good that their enemies are just opening fire. Um, because just, wait, look, just look at the how many arrows are stuck here. Um, yeah. But uh, at this point, it's just a slow process of me getting the heck out of there, and uh, I'm just gonna move, move up another unit because why not? Uh, they are well within the range of my guns, and um, so yes. There is an ambush on the other side in the sense that they have two units of Daiku Samurai, which is a terrible idea. Um, if I had any cavalry units, I would just sally out and destroy those two. Uh, but I was at that point, I wasn't sure should I charge out my general or what should I do. But uh, eventually, I didn't do anything because um, I thought there was at least one more unit there, but there ends up there wasn't. So I have two, uh, two units of Daiku Samurai for the Constantians. And yes, um, it's this unit. This unit, which is on the, which is trying to go for the walls, is getting shot apart. Um, I'm eventually gonna get send up more units. 
Yeah. And we're just gonna gun stuff down. He also has his cavalry in the front lines, which is a terrible idea. Like, not that... He did bring a one too many cavalry. But, uh... Three units is a lot for a siege battle. But, unless you're sailing out, but then I wouldn't really want you... To, you re really shouldn't sail out. Um, you see Daiku Samurai right here just massing up. I have the arrow towers just massacring these guys. Um, once again, arrow towers are like machine guns and yeah, already three guys dead. Um, my men are routing again, but once again, we're just holding the outer wall, which is 100% fine. Um, it's just a slow, gradual process of hold the outer walls. You see here, he's moving uh, the Constantian. My enemy opponent is moving some warrior monks, some bandits, some Nagana samurai to the other side to uh, attack this place, which is not a bad idea. Um, the enemy are going to be moving up on the tier, so I'm just going to deploy my guns right here and just shoot them down uh, whenever they come across. I eventually deploy even more guys on this sector of the wall, just to make them multiple tiers of one tier here opening fire and the other tier here opening fire. Uh, and yes. And because it's a 2v1, then we have way more numbers than me, so I'm not going to try to. I'm just delaying for time essentially. Um, my, my guys are getting pepper by literally arrows. And I. And we finally open fire. 12 kills. 265 dead. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I'm moving up the second column of line, guys. Uh, one unit is running from the battlefield right here, White Tiger Force, no surprise. And this unit has just routed. So, uh, things are not looking good in terms of time-wise. Um, I was expecting them to lose, like, what, 7 to 10 minutes in the sector. We just passed the 10 minute mark. Well, we, we haven't even passed the 10 minute, 7 minute mark. But yeah, these guys, Yara Ashigori, are getting shot apart by my guns. But once again, Yara Ashigori are quite terrible. But once that also said, my guys are also quite terrible. Oh. Is my general in mortal peril? Uh, yes, because they are firing upon him. And I'm trying to get my reserves to another direction. Um, I'm moving some guys back because he is massing up right here, so that's, that's a move by me. He's also having deploying his Yori Ashigaru to scale this sector of the wall. Um, once again, I, I don't know who's better in melee. Hold on, I'm just looking right now. Power Shigaru Morale. Melee attack. Melee defense is one. These guys, melee attack is four. So, not that bad. Uh, Shigaru, pretty good suited for this job. But, however, I do have guns on the second rank. Just open fire whoever tries, tries to cross. Kanan Samurai are way better than these poor levy units. Um, Have they taken the tower? No. Yeah, well, no, they're about to take a tower. Oh, I also have this tower for me. Um, this area should go to routes, which is great. However, there's just way more units coming through. Also, the, at this point, he's firing arrows like crazy. Um, I eventually decided to put one unit here and, and one unit of White Tiger Force down and open fire these Daiku Samurai. The reason is because these guys literally are well within range of my guys. And yes, they've taken this tower, which is terrible. But um, I just have to wait by time. And pray for the best. As you can see, some guys have already reached the uh, second tier. And we're just opening fire. Um, you can see here that the enemy is just straight out right moving. That is why I just decided to move the entire uh, white, white, white tiger force. And they're just going to open fire on these guys. Come on, give me a volley. That's pretty bad. Especially when that is like literally point blank range. But hey, I'm um, not here to argue. These guys are cheap. And literally, they destroyed some boat katana swordsmen, katana samurai. Uh, with the help of their arrow towers and air archers, too. Yeah. 25 kills, 23 kills, that's terrible. Um, but yeah, um, can't really do anything about that. 
that's why I'm just moving even more units in this formation. Um, have my general running around trying to inspire the troops, but that's not going to go too well. I have my infantry, the marine, and the back lines. Um, also trying to inspire the troops. And once these guys start firing, it's going to be the best. Well, it's not going to be the best, but it's going to help the situation. Um, his kind of swordsman and my white tiger force are pretty dang on, on, um, tired. A unit of 40 and a unit of 164. Just routed, just routed the kind of swordsman. So, um, I'm trying to form up once again. And elsewhere, the enemy decides not to attack for now, which is a smart decision by him. Um, some of our units have returned to the battlefield, so that's great. Um, my guys are firing away because his bowmen are well within range. It, it is a bow Ashigaru and... Two bow Ashigaru and some bandits. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna get these guys on the walls. They're just walking, which is kind of sad. Um, so I, we can shoot down some bowmen. I decide, eventually decided, no, let's not do that, um, um, so yeah, I do have some reserves coming back, which is great, um, not really paying attention to them because, uh, I had just so many troops to manage, but yes, I'm still in this, uh, blocky formation, which, um, not a lot of, sh yeah, um, I'm still in this pretty blocky formation, and the reason is because, um, they don't have any heavy artillery, um, but our guys are just chewing away at this Daiku Samurai without taking that many losses. And for the price, it's pretty, it's pretty good. We're paying out pretty well. Um, at this point, I decided to straight out I just charge in. With this unit, at least. Yeah, we're gonna open fire with this unit. We're gonna, we're gonna come back. We're gonna form somewhat of a line. We're also gonna have the second tier open fire. And we're, the enemy already passed the second tier, so now they're officially assaulting the third tier. Our archives are trying to fire as quick as po humanly possible. But yes, it's going to be slightly problematic for my guys. Um, I'm going to move these guys back and I'm going to send up my infantry to the Marine. Uh, or Emperor's Zone. <laughs> and the reason why I'm going to do that is literally because... Um, I'm literally going to pray... Pray for Jesus Christ. Actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna do my best to hold these guys off. Also, the infantry, the marine, are pretty good against, literally, um, mobs. And, in this case, it is a mob. I'm gonna have some white tiger force to literally outside the walls, uh, to, to soak up damage. Um, the enemy is putting up some ton of samurai, but because my infantry and marine are not that bad, we're gonna do pretty well. One second, guys. That was a terrible shot. But uh, our infantry marine is doing quite badly for now. Yeah. Not that good for this expensive of a unit. But uh, this uh, samurai unit. This not gonna have a samurai, just gonna run into even more white tiger forces. Um, the enemy are gonna scale the walls, nothing I can really do about that. Um, I didn't really see this because I was mainly focused on this sector of the wall and this sector, which I we're pretty much breaking this like a samurai. But I I didn't really move these two units, which is a shame. Um, could have gotten some really good kills by literally just setting these guys up right here and here. Um, I am getting peppered by his um, Oshigaru, and that is why you should once again spread out your troops as as, as much as you can. Um, I sent this unit out to burn this arrow tower, which proved very well. I'm also going to send guys up here to shoot at this unit of uh, Katana Samurai, and we're going to hold our ground with this unit. Um, on the other side, my infantry, the Marine, are starting to hold, are, are getting some more kills. Um, and I'm trying to just gun down these Kanan Samurai. At this point we have 5 minutes left, so that's a problem. Um, our guys are in this 
mob formation and we're just gonna go we're gonna go straight into melee um, uh, I still have some reserves this unit is not doing anything because I forgot to move them and these two units are just uh, reserved uh, we basically destroyed this um, Daki Samurai and now the enemy are finally assaulting the last uh, part they already kind of did it right here but um, finally I decided to move these guys back and we're just gonna open fire on the flank. I'm gonna send these two units I have returned from routing to go back uh, to hold the ground. Um, but yes, I'm also having my general come in to salvage the situation, which is looking pretty bad. My infantry, the marine, I've gotten 200 kills, which is pretty good, uh, considering the fact that they took some heavy casualties against arrows and uh, not gonna have samurai. But our guys are trying to hold this really on this side. The enemy has literally popped scare, which is pretty scary. Um, because it drops morale quite a bit. I have some units facing the wrong side against no one. Um, so that's, I have to move them quick. But yes. Um, I'm deploying even more troops back from the, this sector of the wall to face these guys. But yes, um... Um, at this point, um, the enemy has mostly used up their elite troops, and most of their elite troops are in this sector, with some mostly bow units, and some Nagana war amongst in reserve, but a good thing for me is that we only have to hold for 4 minutes, and this situation is looking ter quite terrible. Um, they literally just charge in here, and um, yeah. It's not looking good because our guys are starting to rout some units here and there, but also the enemy is starting to rout. So yeah, my infantry marine is holding for dear Christ, um, getting 288 kills. Uh, pretty, pretty bad at it, all things considered. But um, yeah, we are destroying the enemy boats, samurai. We still have ammunition. The enemy is trying to take this this part of the. This part of the wall, so I decided, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna have everyone charge in. Um, most of these are terrible units, but that's fine. I'm gonna have these guys not hit these guys, but I'm just gonna have these guys come here, surround, um, form up, and literally charge in. Um, yeah. Uh, we stopped the cap, which is great, but however, our guys are taking horrific casualties because our enemies are both hammered. And we're also clumping up, so that's also quite bad. He has sent in this, um, this little warrior monk, and so that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna even deploy even more troops to just surround this entire sector, and uh, that's that's pretty much, uh, yeah. I'm also having my infantry marine, which is down to 64, getting four, holy, 446 kills. Now that's impressive. Yeah, we're just bulletproof sound and not being very, very bulletproof. They are trying to set the gate on fire, which is not a bad decision. Um, our guys are, yeah, destroying. Well, we are getting destroyed by this guy here, but because we have so much of them, we don't really care. Also, to make the even situation even better, I'm just going to shoot on the flank of this guy here, and we're going to drop them pretty quick. We're getting some friendly kills, but I don't care. Um, most of these units are conscript units, well, conscript-like units. Um, I'm also gonna pull up right here and fire on this flank, which is Tetsudo Warrior Monks, and those guys, these guys are pretty dang scary. I have to admit, um, essentially what they are is a big... Yeah. Uh, we shoot them point blank range. And we drop a lot of them before they come into action. Well, they... yeah. Um, I do have some units just like blobbing up right here. And I'm just gonna move even more. Oh, great. that's that's unfortunate. But um, this was a fr actually no, that was not even a fresh unit. But this was the unit that basically was this. No, this is this is not. Um, uh, we're gonna move these guys on uh, here because my infantry marine are suffering horrendous casualties. Uh, this, the second they come in through here, we're gonna just gun them down. Which we do an absolutely terrible job of doing because um, they have only one minute left, and uh, yeah, at this point, um, this entire sector has just broken. Um, I having this unit just open fire at this entire mob, essentially.
Yeah. 200... 282 kills for a unit now is worth 50. It's not that bad, actually. You get some surprising kills with this White Tiger Force. Some White Tiger Force are coming back, and now I'm having to deploy my general to get some kills. Um, he's scaling some... Um, I'm pretty sure they're out of ammunition, but we're monks. But yes. At this point, um, I'm the deploying... I'm deploying every one of my units that I have previously routed or are preparing to route into the center. And the reason why I'm doing that is literally because I, I know for a fact that my guys, no matter how tired, how demoralized, how how XYZ they are, they're just gonna hold to the very last man. And that, that is because we have this Tetsu. But that sh shouldn't really matter because the time has officially ran out. And although they should have pushed all these all the stacks together. But at this point, I'm still charging in every unit, and that is it. Um, it's a cost, an extremely costly victory for me. But yeah, um, nothing I can say about that. So yes. So that's that. Um, I'm just gonna see the kills, and I realize that it's a little bit laggy right now, which is something I can't really fix. So yeah. Um, so sorry about that guys, and um, I'm just trying to see what else I got What kills to be exact The goal about the goal about sieges I think is to literally hold your ground and pray for the best because like um, literally the second time limit runs out no matter how many how little troops you have you're gonna you're gonna win So that's why during this battle I prior prioritize bringing a lot of white tiger forces. As you can see, some white tiger force straight out. Oh. Some white tiger force straight out. I got no kills. Some got pretty decent kills. My general getting 144. That's impressive. Um, but yes, um, Daiku Samurai, no surprise, getting 210. Everything else did pretty good. My infantry, the Marine, got 588, which is pretty impressive considering the fact that there's only at the end of the battle only 33 of them left. But uh, yes, pretty good play on my um, on um, was I just saw the Constantian, consist. Yeah, he had really did most of the charging straight in. Uh, the only problem that I with his with with the battle was pretty much that Paxton, Paxton didn't really support him. Uh, he had a lot of uh, not gonna have a, uh, warrior monks in reserve, but that they didn't really support him. Most of them were even straight out a fool. Yeah, so yeah, that's that. But anyway, um, have a great day. Um, this is the battle, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.